Mark, congratulations, a full win over Alfie Burden. Bit of a scrappy start, but 97 and then a couple of centuries, so you soon found your rhythm. Yeah, I, I missed an easy red in frame one when I was 40 behind. That was my first chance. And second frame, Alfie was in first and didn't make the most of his opportunity. But after that, I played some good stuff. Uh, I thought his early passages of play were really, really good. His break-offs were perfect and leave me in trouble every time. And his safety was good. And he forced some errors from me. But as the match went on, I grew into it. And I, but I capitalised on mistakes from him. I know it's decent when I made 97 and 200s, but... Yeah, it was off Alfie missing and let me in, so yeah, much to improve on. There was a lovely embrace actually at the end with you and Alfie at the table, a nice long chat as well. What was said? Yeah, I just get on really well with Alfie. You know, uh, we've always had a lot of time for each other. I think we both respect each other's games and want to see each other do well, so it's just a shame we play so early. But yeah, it was just words of encouragement for him because I said to him at the end that I felt like he'd done all the hard work in the frames and then missed and left me like all the balls there to clear up. and. Those matches can sometimes be a bit deceiving on the scoreboard. It looks like 4 1 to me. It was pretty comfortable, but it was anything but because, like I said, Alfie controlled the early exchanges in each frame and, yeah, happy to capitalise on some errors from him as the frames went on. Yeah, your last match was actually the, the shootout, which is almost three weeks ago now. What have you been up to in that in that time? Have you had time to relax or you've been practising? Uh, just practising. Yeah, I had a few days to enjoy myself in Leicester at the shootout after you know, winning the Grand Prix. And then straight back to practice. Uh, no rest for the wicket. I've been working really hard. I've been trying something new technically. And yeah, that probably unsettled me a little bit there today. It was the first time I tried to put it into a match. But as the match went on, I sort of found my rhythm and forgot all the technical stuff and just played. So I really enjoyed it towards the end there. Because in Cheltenham at the World Grand Prix, before the shootout, there was lots of talk about yourself and B games, C games, D games. Are you searching to try and find your A game again now? Or are you, are you just not bothered as long as you win? No. Look, I'm always searching. I'm always searching for better. Uh, always searching for improvement. Uh, I know that if my A game comes, you know, I'll win events. But it's encouraging for me in the last few months that I've been winning events without it. Mm. Uh, I don't want to play that way all the time. I want to, you know, be open and, and go for my shots and score heavy and score quickly, like I did there this evening. But it gives me a lot of confidence knowing that I don't have to play well to win. But I would still like to, yeah. Yeah. Sure, that'd be a, a nicer feeling going out there and say pot and balls left. Yeah, right absolutely. Center. Because like as much as I done really well to win the Grand Prix and even the UK to an extent, I didn't really get to enjoy much of it because it was battling for everything. You know, the only the only time really I enjoyed it was the end of the final at the UK because I played some good stuff from behind. But in general, it was two really long, hard weeks in those two events, just battling for everything. But that's not pretty. But I got the job done, and uh, like I said, I don't want to be playing like that all the time. But it's encouraging to know that I can. You'll be well aware of the, the Bet Victor series bonus, I'm sure, heading into this tournament. <coughs> uh, before the tournament started, you were twelve thousand pounds short of Ali Carter. You were in third place, of course, Ali Ali leading it. How much do bonuses or cut off points, series, etc., play on your mind when you enter tournaments? Uh, it shouldn't. Uh, but does it? <laughs> no, I, I don't think it will. No, not for me. I come in here. I, I'm trying to win the Welsh Open. Uh, that's first and foremost. If I was to do that, then that the rest takes care of itself. Uh, I can't control what Ali does. He's obviously got a, a bit of a lead after winning in Germany, and rightfully so. So I just come here and try and enjoy it and try and do as best I can. And it would be nice to win that bonus, don't get me wrong, but it's a million miles from my f thoughts at the minute. Because I'm sure you'd like the 150 grand bonus. It would be great to <laughs> add to the elite pot and uh, see where that takes me. But yeah, it's a long way to go yet. Mitchell Man up next. No doubt, of course, you've been the man to beat this season. How do you think that changes your opponent's mindsets going into in matches? Do you think they raise their game at all? How have you found that over the uh, last few uh, months? It could bring a lot of things. You could. It means that maybe they might feel the pressures off a little bit because they're not expected to win. They might free their arm up and play well. They might see it as a big scalp and then you no know, take their eye off the ball and be a bit too nervous and overthinking. I just I don't care about any of that. I just want to go out there and play well. If I play well, that takes care of itself. And if not, then no, I'll have to fight for everything. Well done, Sam, mate. And all the best for the rest of the Check week. It. Thank you.